Welcome to Random Celebrity Recipes. I'm your random host and cook, Kathy. And today is the reason I created this show to begin with. We are going to be doing the crazy recipes from National Treasure, Dick Van Dyke. Hot dogs au vin. Yeah, hot dogs in wine. Hot dog macaroni salad. And then because I thought my taste tester needed a break, we're going to do Richard Deacon's Bitter and Booze. Richard Deacon was Mel on the Dick Van Dyke Show. So the first thing I'm supposed to do is boil some macaroni and chill it. Elbow, because that's what Dick would have bought. Dick Van Dyke's hot dog macaroni salad. I try to be as true to these recipes as I possibly can, getting the exact same ingredients that Dick would have bought back in the 1960s or whenever he submitted this recipe to his favorite fan magazine. Oscar Mayer. I might have bought Hebrew National Vienna beef, but I think Dick would have bought Oscar Mayer. I do feel really guilty about my mustard though. This recipe is just screaming for frenches and all I have is grape pone. Epic fail. I apologize, Mr. Van Dyke. Have you ever seen the Great British Bake Off? You know, in the technical challenge, they're given recipes that are deliberately vague, missing steps. You've got to figure it out on your own. That's how I feel about these celebrity recipes that are in all these magazines. For instance, for this macaroni salad, it says cook, cooked hot dog rounds. Now, hot dogs are cooked. Do I cook them again? Do I cook them as if I was going to have a hot dog? Boil it, broil it, grill it, put it in the microwave? I just don't think so because it's a cold macaroni salad. So I think cooked hot dogs are good enough from the package. That's what I'm going to do. You know, Dick Van Dyke quit high school to join the service for World War II. He wanted to be an Air Force pilot, but he was too skinny. He had to go on a milkshake diet. They let him in the Air Force, but they didn't let him be a pilot. Because he quit high school early, he didn't receive his diploma until almost 70 years later. Relish and mayonnaise. Celery. White onion. Not very much. It was more celery than onion. I would have done it the other way around. I suppose it's because celery has very little flavor and onion does. And now, the teeniest, teeniest bit of mustard. It seems to me that the ratio between hot dogs and macaroni is an overwhelmingly hot dog. You know, at the beginning of the Dick Van Dyke show, the opening credits when he comes in and he trips over the footstool, and then there's the opening credits where he steps around the footstool. And I guess there's a very little used clip where he misses the footstool and then just trips anyway. There used to be a betting game, I understand, where people would bet which opening they're going to use for the show. All right, really this is it. I mean, this, this is it. We had hot dogs, chilled macaroni, cooked, that part I understand. Sweet pickle relish, minced onion, celery, mayonnaise, mustard, and a little salt and pepper. Okay, Dick. Okay. Now it's time for the main event, hot dogs au vin, which just means hot dogs with wine. Already, I'm a little confused. Saute the hot dogs, cut crosswise into thirds. That's, that's this way, crosswise into thirds. I'm gonna do it on an angle just cause it's prettier. Crosswise into thirds, all right? And then saute them in butter. You know, Dick Van Dyke holds the number one position for the worst movie accent ever. Of course, it was for the wonderful character Bert in Mary Poppins. Dick's a good sport about it. He even apologized to BAFTA, that's the British Oscars, and he said, in his own defense, his dialect coach was Irish. So he was doing the Cockney accent as spoken by an Irish person. And he goes, no one ever told me anything was wrong with it. Julie never said, 
you really need to work on your accent. It means Julie Andrews, of course. The whole cast was British. Why didn't somebody tell me, he said. That is a very good point, Mr. Van Dyke. All right, the onions have to brown. And then we're going to add chives. Okay, the onions have to brown. And then we're going to add chives and garlic and saute that and slowly add the wine. That simmers for 10 minutes and we add onions. Okay, okay. There are no onions in the ingredient list. How many onions? How many onions? Technical challenge. Just gonna mince up a few onions. In keeping with my quest to make these recipes authentic, I don't buy organic. Oh no, I buy plain old onions. Except for the chives, because I can only get organic chives. I don't know how many onions, I don't know what kind of onion, I'm just going to go with that. I might have over browned my, my hot dog, but with the whole detour with the onions. Now I'm supposed to saute the chives in the garlic, but I think my butter got too dark, and that was totally my fault. Well, not really. The onions should have been in the ingredients list. But I don't think I'm cheating if I pour this out and start with fresh butter. Another thing I don't quite understand is I'm not sauteing the onions with the chives and the garlic. I add that later, the mushrooms and the gravy. Oh, I would have sauteed them. But I'm gonna follow the recipe as much an error as it might be. Because you saute the onions before the chives. You don't really need to saute chives. Oh man, do you think? You think this is just all messed up? You know, I know someone who knows Dick Van Dyke's son. I wonder if I can get this link to her and she can ask him the question we all want to know. What were you thinking? And after that, do I saute the onions or do I sa saute the chives? I'm gonna saute the onions because I think this recipe is incorrect. You know, Dick Van Dyke spent his entire life celebrating his birthday incorrectly. And when he went to join the service, he was only 17, and, and his mom said, yeah, nah, you're really 18. You see, you were premature, so we put your real due date on your birth certificate, not the date you were really born. Dick thought, yeah, that sounds fishy. So he went to ask the most straight shooting person he knew, his grandmother. And she said, who the hell told you that? You were conceived out of wedlock. My garlic and onions are sauteed and it's time to add the wine. Uh, it says a burgundy. I'm using a, a red blend, close enough. I've already cheated on this recipe with the Grey Poupon, so I might as well use a different kind of wine too, huh? All right, we're gonna let that reduce. Now we're going to add the chives, mushrooms from a jar, and brown gravy from a can or a jar. You know, I think of all these ingredients, um, this is the one that pains me the most. I'm really proud of my gravy making skills and whew. Then when it comes back to a simmer, we're going to add the potatoes and the hot dogs and it's done. Dick calls for canned potatoes. As God is my witness, I did not know you could get potatoes in a can. Mr. Van Dyke always wanted to be a minister. And after he became a big star, he continued to teach Sunday school, kind of like Jimmy Carter. His family also came over on the Mayflower. Yeah. Well, that and a bag of chips. The recipe with the exact measurements are in the notes on the YouTube page, but let's face it, you're never gonna make this. While I'm waiting for that to come back to a simmer before I add the potatoes and the hot dogs, I'm just looking at these potatoes. The recipe does not say to cut them up in any way. It just says a can of tiny potatoes. And these are pretty tiny, but they're not all the same tiny. 
So I think I'm going to cut them to about the size of the tiniest one. So they're all the same. I don't know. Makes sense to me. Time for the hot dogs. Time for the potatoes. Well, I have got to say, this does look like a very rich gravy. If it tastes as good as it looks, we're gonna be okay, but I'm not going to taste it until my random taste tester comes. Voila. Dick Van Dyke's hot dogs au vin. Richard Deacon's bitter and booze. Richard Deacon played Mel on The Dick Van Dyke Show, and he was Lumpy's father, Fred Rutherford, on Leave It to Beaver. He also had roles in The Birds, An Invasion of the Body Snatchers, and he was one of the earliest advocates of the microwave oven. And he is telling me to melt semi-sweet chocolate chips in the microwave, beat until smooth. This recipe is going to be whipping cream, brandy. You know, I had, I didn't have brandy, I had cognac, so I Googled it, and all cognac is brandy, but not all brandy is cognac. I'm supposed to whip until stiff. Richard Deacon was also a fabulous dancer that he was compared to Fred Astaire. Richard Deacon was a cool guy, a gourmet cook, and a cookbook author. I hope I do him proud with this. Wondering what he would have thought of hot dogs all then. Don't you, don't you just wonder if Dick Van Dyke ever gave him hot dogs all then? Come over for dinner, Richard Deacon. Let's have hot dogs all then. If it looks like it's getting darker, it is. There's a storm coming and I really want to get done before the thunder and lightning, very, very frightening. Also, the cable guy's coming between nine and noon. Okay, stiff, stiff peaks, fine line between stiff peaks and butter, so I'm gonna quit right there. Okay, here we go. I'm going to fold in the brandy, pinch of salt, maybe a little more. Fold it carefully. This is the part I'm worried about but this chocolate is just so heavy, it's gonna deflate all of the cream. I like, I like the swirly effect. It's folded. As I said, I kind of like the marble effect, so I'm not gonna over fold. And now we chill for a few hours. I'd love to taste it but my rules are I don't taste how the taster tastes. Hey everybody, welcome random taste tester, Juliana. Hello. Juliana, our first course today is Dick Van Dyke's macaroni hot dog salad. Ah. Mm -hmm. mm. It's um, relish, Little celery, little onions, macaroni, hot dogs, a teeny bit of mayonnaise, and that's about it. Well, it's not unattractive to look no. at. No, there's some variety of color here on the plate. Oh, the nitrates are coming through nicely <laughs> with the hot dogs, very nice. Now he said, the recipe said for cooked hot dogs. Hot dogs are cooked. So I didn't know if he wanted me to grill them or boil them. So I didn't do anything to them. Hmm. Grilling what might have I think it, done a nice job. Yeah, grill, that. grill dip. But um, should have grilled the hot dogs. That would have been a nice char, another mm -hmm. flavor level. Um, you know, I, I I am getting a lot of salt. I think because of the hot dogs, mm -hmm. and I think maybe a little more pepper or something else. Mm -hmm. I bet I I could use some more crunchiness with some more mm -hmm. celery. I think just for texture. More celery. I think I could use a little more onion, maybe red onion. Ah, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, well, Dick, to be honest, it tastes like a salad you'd get in a Midwestern funeral home. 
It does, doesn't it? It's a church basement lady salad. It's very definitely a church basement. <laughs> Not sure it's worth the calories. Ah, good point. This is hot dogs au vin. It's hot dogs um, braised in wine with canned potatoes and uh, mushrooms out of a jar. And it's all exactly the same color. Yes, it's all, it's definitely all browns. Okay, here we go. Now I did sear the hot dogs. Actually, I think that the sauce is tasty. And I believe that if you substituted fresh ingredients mm -hmm. and not used the canned potatoes because you can always taste that they were in a can. I've never had them before. That little tinny taste in the back of your um, The palate. mushrooms are um, rubbery. You know, the sauce really is just wine. There, I sauteed the hot dogs in butter and there's wine. There's nothing else added to this. Again, it's kind of salty with the hot dogs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, some portobello's in here or something else. Cremini mushrooms might be really nice. Hmm. I just have to wonder, A, did Dick Van Dyke even put this recipe in a magazine? B, if he did, was he making a joke? Or C, yeah, we had that all the time when I was a kid. The hot dogs do taste better because you have, um, you, you grilled them, right? I did grill them. Mm -hmm. that, make, that makes a huge difference, I think. I think so too, you're right. I should have, I should have grilled or broiled the ones in the salad. It said cook them, I just was confused. I think that was my mistake, I apologize, Dick Van Dyke. You know, Johnny Carson was supposed to get that role in Faye Rob Petrie. Really? Yeah, it came down to the two of them. I then, did not know that. Yeah, Dick Van Dyke beat him out. It would have been a completely different show. I like Johnny Carson, mm -hmm. but don't you think instead of Rob Petrie being so affable, he might have been a little more acerbic? Yes, I think so, and they already had Carl Reiner do that. Mm -hmm. So next up for dessert, we have um, Richard Deacon's Bitter and Booze. I'm actually going to have one more bite at the hot dog Ooh, here. She likes it. Oh, it is boozy. Um, it's, um, I'm not sure you can eat this and drive. That's almost two. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, it's good. I think it was supposed to serve four. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, is it whipped cream or is it... Um, That's really whipping cream. I whipped it. It's melted chocolate chips. Oh. Now, when you melt chocolate chips, they harden again, mm -hmm. which is what we've got. So we do have texture. Fresh strawberries on top. Mm -hmm. They'll give a little color. Mm -hmm. Maybe needs a little acid to cut the sweetness. Some lemon peel or orange mm. peel. What if you would put this in a pie crust, like French silk pie? Mm. Oh, it would be this. <laughs> I like that idea. I do too. <laughs> Okay, there's our uh, Dick Van Dyke show meal. I'm going to continue eating this because I'm not driving. Cool.